S-Class featured multiplayer in the O2 Corvette at Hockenheim here. We've got a few people in the group. Bloody's right there in his Porsche. Let's see what we can do here. Good luck, everybody. Let's have some fun. Drop at to the back of the field here. Let's get going. I'm gonna try the outside. If I could get ahead of both these two cars in front of me before the braking zone, that'd be lovely. Not quite before, but pretty close. Let's just get around on the inside here. Just try to avoid any collisions. Go inside here. And away we go. Clear of a lot of cars already. Gonna go a little bit hot into here in hopes that it saves me from getting hit by anyone. I don't know if I would have gotten hit, but I saw a few people go pretty hot. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I dodged somebody there. It was worth it either way. Alright, we got an NSX here. He's going a little wide on the corner. See if I can get underneath. And then maybe go back under here. Couldn't get the power down very well, but I think I have more power than they do. Now we've got an F1 GT here. Clear of the NSX. Oh, unless I blow a corner. That doesn't help. Really lost a lot of time there. Of course, this car has a Viper motor in it, which is always fun. Love the uh, fun engine swaps. I'm not going to pass yet. I'm going to wait for the exit. Alright, 3.9 back from the lead. That's Bloody in second. If Bloody passes for the lead, I think he's going to be gone. I'm hoping that the car in the lead will hold him up for a little bit so I can catch up here. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think first out of there is the play. I was usually using second, but I think first is the way to go. Looks like Bloody did take the lead. We'll see if he gets fought back for it though. Oh, looks like he's clear. Oh, somebody just rang our doorbell. So you will hear the dogs. Puppies are very excited about that. Okay, how am I going to get past this car? Um, let's see, do I have enough straight line speed to keep up? Yeah, I'll be able to pass on the straights. Let's see if I can get an exit here out of T1. Here we go. Same squad as last slot. Different car. Looks like Bloody hasn't completely dropped the second place car, but there's no battling happening out front, so I've still got a, a tall task here. I was pretty much counting on the battling in order to catch up, and there's none. And I think Bloody and I are on similar pace right now. Can I catch up to second place, though? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm catching second a little bit, not a lot. I wonder if I have straight line on them. Ate the curve a little too hard out of that last one. Yeah, I've got straight line speed on the car in front. Maybe not complete top end, but acceleration for sure. It's an F1, so you know that they have really good top end because of their arrow. They don't need power to run top end. But I've got that mid-range acceleration that should help me keep up and catch up. Sideways on the exit. I think I'm alright Pretty much caught up to the F1 now. I've only got one lap to get by him though. This might be difficult to try and pull off. Unless he goes a little sideways, more sideways than I do. Having the draft here will be huge. On the straightaway. So let's try and maintain draft range. He overshot that corner just a little bit. It's gonna help me too. Alright, draft range. He is mid-engine though, so he will get out of this corner a lot easier than I will. But he's taking a compromised line defending. And he's wide on the curb. My tires are almost all yellow though, so I've got to be careful here. But I should be okay. Should be is the key. Got a little little wobbly on the curb there again. Oh, he picked up a penalty. It's over now. Holly saying hi again. There it is. Bloody taking the win. I was able to work my way back up into second. Well, up into second in general. Let's see who got the fastest lap, though. And it was me. I stole it from Bloody. I got the fastest lap. I was uh, a little bit up on that last lap, too, but um, lost it with the tires near the end and the, with the pass, too, of course. But uh, stole the fastest lap from Bloody, and that's all I really care about. I kind of want to make it better on bumps. So I'm going to make some adjustments here. I'd like it to be softer on curbing. Let's see if that helps. All right. Gearing looks good. Went over that pretty well. Whatever 
that better than before. <laughs> Not really, buddy. Just a few small adjustments. Let's see if it's easier to beat you now. I've already got four tenths on this lab. Ooh. I would love to get that understeer out coming onto the bank, but I don't think I can just because of the way the track is. I'm getting more understeer. It is fast. I'm guessing the understeer is coming more from this than anything. So let's put that back. Because I dialed more under more oversteer into the sway bars. See coming out of the banking, that'll be the true test. bit less. A little bit less there as well. I just cracked it into the wall. Five minutes till race start. What PC specs? I play on Xbox. Do that, that should help. Um, I'm also gonna be a little more aggressive here. Actually, I need to swap my tires first before I do a run. Because they are yellow. <laughs> I'd say it's a little bit different, but if you understand tuning an FM7, you can figure it out in this pretty easily. There's a couple new adjustments that are kind of, I don't know, difficult to learn. But uh, yeah, overall, I'd say it's pretty straightforward. Didn't even understeer coming onto the banking. Bloody, you're in trouble. Oh, that's gonna be way faster. Look at the time. Look how much time I just found. I just found five tenths in, the, in those two corners.
Live tuning, live progress. It's a little sketchy. It's more difficult to drive, as you can see, but it's faster. Look at that, look at that split. Three tenths. Gotta be more careful with it. Look, it fell. Well, other than the curb, it still didn't hit the wall, even though I countered that hard. And it also takes bumps better. I have to keep it half slide. <laughs> Not great for the tires, but it's fun. Not this track, bloody. You know where I'm coming for you. Okay. Um, I might dial it back a little bit. Like a little bit. Just to... <laughs> Just to be a bit safer for the race. That's all. Oh, sorry. 30 seconds to race start. I needed to go flat out here to make sure it didn't have a chair on the wall and we're good. So it's a little safer. It's still enough though. Like it's it's that fine line between like a little bit safer so that I can drive it more consistently and, and not have any issues, but still doing what I needed to do, which is not understeering into that wall so I don't have to lift there. S-Class featured multiplayer back with the O2 Vet. I've been really enjoying this car, having some fun going back and forth on Hockenheim with Bloody on the Rivals leaderboard, so uh, bringing it here. Made a few adjustments to the car. I think I made it quite a bit better. Um, this car was understeering when it was getting onto the banking here on, the, on this Indianapolis track. And I made, oh jeez, what the... I made some adjustments um, to help with that. I'm, I feel like that person's gonna come straight through the corner. But no, we're good. Let's just try and avoid everything. Try and avoid everything. Up into 8th place, maybe soon to be 7th. Maybe soon to be 9th, we'll see. I didn't, I don't really want to accelerate into this guy. Let's see if I can accelerate around this Diablo. Yeah, Diablo yeah. All right, now what? Somebody's going through. That's a that's a collision. And another one. I need to get out of this pack, or else I'm going to lose way too much time to try and catch the lead. There goes one car. I need to get ahead of these two. I'm gonna follow the Lambo here. Oh, that was cute. They both said sorry, I think. Go underneath. Oh, he's not gonna let me have the corner. That's fine. Hopefully I don't get a penalty for the cut and I didn't, which is nice. Alright, I hope I have straight line speed on this guy. It looks like I do. Not a whole lot, but it should be enough. There we go. Next group of three. Oh, one's off. That's pre-position, thank you. Another free position. So I'm going to come back across the track. We're good. Alright, 
one more car here. And I chase the leaders. Just picking them off. One by one. Hopefully it lets me out the inside. Barely, not really. Well, I was there. Luckily he didn't hit the wall or anything, so we're good. Alright, six seconds back from the lead, but five seconds back from second. Let's see how much I can close in here. Three to go. Let's see what we can do. The thing about this race is it's pretty short. There's only five laps. The laps are one minute, 20 seconds. So not a lot of time in this race to make positions back up or close ground. In fact, I wonder if you could get away with softs on certain cars here, on very light cars. So it looks like I'm closing about a second per lap on the leader. Maybe a little bit more on second place. I don't know if that's going to be enough. It won't be, but let's see, maybe they'll make a mistake or something. Or I can close some more time. I think first might be too far out, but let's see if I can grab second. It still weighs out, but it might not be impossible. for a 22 this lap, which is pretty good. Hope this car feels pressure. That's what I'm gonna give them. Hope that they make a mistake. Don't do the handling section. They should pull some gap on me. Should is the keyword. Do they? Absolutely not. I don't think I'm going to have a spot to pass here. I'm trying to set something up, but I don't think it's going to happen. Come on, vet. Oh, we got it. We got it at the line. Whew. 
22-6, fastest lap by a pretty good chunk there. Was able to steal that second place from a 330. I'm surprised I caught them, to be honest. Didn't catch the 512, though. I don't think that was going to happen. That car is just way too quick. But um, Corvette's looking good. I, I put some time into this car, got it to uh, a decent spot. It's not nearly as, as good as it was in the past games. Um, and you never really see people using it these days because of that. Uh, but happy to bring it out. Happy to be able to use it again because I used to avoid it because of how fast it was. But it's nice to have that car out. Nice to have it pretty competitive. Um, not too fast that I want to dodge it, but still, uh, still can run some solid lap times.